Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in San Diego. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Monday, August 19th. You'll be interested to know, 212 years ago, today in 1812, the USS Constitution, commanded by Captain Isaac Hull, won a brilliant victory over the British frigate, the HMS Garrier, in the War of 1812. This significant naval battle, which took place in the Atlantic Ocean, showcased the superior seamanship and strategic prowess of the American forces. So now you know. And now, it's time for the Surf Report. Expect knee to waist high swell throughout the week. On Monday and Tuesday mornings, conditions will be semi glassy with light offshore winds, becoming semi choppy in the afternoons with stronger onshore winds. Wednesday and Thursday mornings will be semi choppy with variable winds, turning bumpy in the afternoons. Monday at Tourmaline and South San Diego. It's looking fair in the morning until 11 at two to three feet. Then conditions turn choppy until sunset. Best time to ride is at 7 a.m. with a two foot incoming mid tide when the north northwest swell is one and a half feet at 14 seconds and the variable wind is four mile per hour. The first high tide Monday will be four and a half foot just before 10 a.m with a one and a half foot low tide at 3.15. This morning it's foggy and feels like 67 degrees with eight mile per hour wind. The sunset will take place at 7.28 and it will rise again tomorrow at 6.15. It looks like we're in for some patchy fog early on today, clearing up by late morning with mostly sunny skies and temperatures near 81 with a northwest breeze. Tonight, expect partly cloudy skies with a low of 68 and light winds. Looking ahead in the weather, expect patchy fog each morning through Thursday, clearing by mid-morning. Days will be mostly sunny with highs in the upper 70s to low 80s. Nights will be partly cloudy with lows in the mid to upper 60s and fog returning late. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them, Sunny Morning sent you. In local news, tonight, a marginal supermoon called both a sturgeon moon and a blue moon will be visible worldwide. This supermoon is full at 1126 a.m. Pacific time, but will still be prominent as night falls on the West Coast. It is a supermoon because it is full within 90% of its closest approach to Earth, occurring two days later. The term blue moon may derive from an old English phrase meaning betrayer moon. The sturgeon moon name comes from the main farmer's almanac, credited to the Algonquin tribes for the large fish caught this time of year. This moon, also known as the green corn moon, signifies the first full moon after corn ripens. Two minor meteor showers will also peak during this lunar cycle, visible from the Northern hemisphere in less urban areas with clearer skies. Now on to sports. Jordan Spieth, planning for relatively common wrist surgery, hinted after the FedEx St. Jude Championship that the procedure is imminent. The Dallas resident, facing a 12-week recovery, aims to be ready for the Hero World Challenge in December. Spieth, who is 31 and tied for 68th in the FedEx Cup playoff event, will not advance to the BMW Championship. He's troubled by a weak tendon sheath, 
causing displacement during play. Spieth's season includes three top 10 finishes, dropping him to 43rd worldwide. In local sports, the Padres on the road lost to the Rockies, three to two. And tonight, they're headed home to take on the Twins for a three-game series. In top news, Casey Means, doctor and author of the book, Good Energy reveals that the path to optimal health begins with food choices. Our daily micro decisions about what we eat can alter our genetic and physiological fate. Means emphasizes that natural foods contain over 5,000 phytochemicals, which impact health significantly. She argues that while traditional medical training views nutrition as a non-evidence-based topic, food is crucial in determining health outcomes. The choices we make about food act as signaling molecules, influencing gene expression, DNA folding, and key cell pathways. Essentially, our bodies are built and maintained by the food we consume. In business news, streaming services are getting more expensive, and it's time to take a closer look at your subscriptions. With prices rising as much as 25% annually, some people are now paying more than they would for traditional cable. Major platforms like Netflix, Disney Plus, and Max have significantly increased their rates. And with password sharing crackdowns, the costs keep climbing. If you're finding it hard to justify these hikes, consider using a subscription tracker to manage and cut down on unnecessary expenses. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is just over $58,600. Ethereum is just over $2,600. And Solana, is $143. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the San Diego area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Encinitas, Solana Beach, Oceanside, La Jolla, and more. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now, back to the show. Let's talk science. Ever wondered if a snake can fart? Danny Rabiotti, a quantitative ecologist, posed this question on Twitter in 2017, sparking viral interest. Rabiotti and co-author Nick Caruso turned this curiosity into the 2018 New York Times bestseller, Does It Fart? The Definitive Field Guide to Animal Flatulence. They explain that a fart is any gas expelled from the end of an animal opposite its mouth. Many animals, including humans, hyenas, and manatees, fart, obviously. Notably, herring fart to communicate, and the bolson pupfish farts to survive. However, bats and birds generally do not fart, and sloths, well, they absorb and breathe out methane instead. Entertainment news. In the new Amazon flick, Jackpot, John Cena and Aquafina star in a twisted lottery game where anyone can claim the prize by murdering the person with the winning ticket. Directed by Paul Fay, this Amazon feature erupts into nonstop action and comedy. Aquafina plays Katie, a former child actress, while Cena's character is a freelance operator who protects her. The film's ingenious premise, combat choreography, and witty lines make it an entertaining, albeit silly action comedy. The chemistry between Cena and Aquafina elevates the movie, making it more enjoyable than expected. Well, alrighty folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our 
quote comes from the American actor and filmmaker, Tom Hanks. And he said, you cannot look up at the night sky on the planet Earth and not wonder what it is like to be up there amongst the stars. And I always look up at the moon and see it as the single most romantic place within the cosmos. And that's a wrap for this morning. You can check out our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for some captivating aerial videos with local news and the surf reports. Have an amazing day, my good friends. We'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Sunny Mornings in San Diego.